This is for uh, a shredder from Idaho. How cool, it, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Aqua Brain TV. On this show, we chat caveman snow skates with Greg Benson. Coming to us from Western Washington, you can find Greg at Caveman Snow Skates on Facebook. Hey, I'm Greg Benson, uh, a.k.a. Truett McCoy on Facebook. I started Caveman back uh, 2012 uh, with a guy named Matt down there at uh, Mount Hood and came back and I got to ride with uh, Craig from Pioneer and Jim and uh, Kurt and Jordan and a bunch of other guys were making their own stuff. And they were like, man, there's nothing better than uh, riding your own stuff. I'm like, well, shit, no one's making what I want to ride. Hey, Matt, you want to do this? He's like, yeah, dude, let's do this. So uh, we started Caveman in 2012. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask you, uh, I was going to ask you, how how did Caveman start? And you kind of just gave me the short, short strokes. Um, yeah. but what, what was the, uh, what was your, what was your introduction to snow skating? Okay. So, um, I got sober, uh, back in like 2000, 2006. Uh, and I'd been teaching snowboarding and skiing since I was like, my parents stopped buying me season passes when I was 19. And I was like, I gotta do this. I gotta feed the addiction. Yeah. Uh, so I started teaching and I was, uh, teaching for like 20, 25 years, 30 years. I don't know, whatever it was. And, uh, I was up the year I got sober. I was, I went to Stevens pass. And I was teaching full time and, uh, I don't know, maybe a month into the season or so, uh, Steve Frank was like, dude, you gotta try one of these things. And, uh, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Nice. So he handed it to me and I took like half a run, dude. Like I went up like the blue run and oh shit, it was hard. Like I was a proficient snowboarder, skier, you know, moving around the mountain, no problem. Uh, board sports and, and whatever. And, and this was hard again. Like this made the mountain fun. Like it wasn't, it wasn't just like get to the flats and, and haul ass towards the bottom. It was like, you know, you could find a little snowball and try and jib it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Half a, half a run in, man, I was hooked. I got uh, probably 70, 80 days on the snow on a snow skate that year. Um, oh, nice. I started teaching snow skate lessons. Uh, okay. I think I was the first person to ever teach at Stevens a uh, legit private snow skate lesson. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. So uh, there was this girl who uh, she signed up for like weekly lessons. And uh, I started talking to her about it. And, you know, she's maybe... 13 and uh she's like man you got an extra one of those i want to try it so i said yeah you know what let's go get one so uh we got one and uh she was like yeah this is it this is what i'm doing uh this and so i taught her i think four or five six seven lessons on the books snow skate well are you uh are you in contact with her do you know if she still does it or anything? i don't even remember her name <laughs> I, I i don't um but she was rad that's awesome. If she sees this and you know who it's you, please get in touch with me. Yeah, put it in the comments for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so that was so that was you. You ran into Steve Frank. And well, he, he was my boss, kind of. He okay. was like the supervisor. Yeah, yeah. He was, he's a cool guy. There was like a, a small core of people. Uh, there was Brandy who was skating. Uh, Steve was skating. Um, and maybe like two, three other people that were like sometimes skating. But every chance I got when I didn't have to have a snowboard or ski on my on my feet, I was on the skate. And you got hooked. Oh, you got you got hard. bit. <laughs> it was hard. Uh, so then uh, then, yeah, that was uh, that was the intro to snow skate or yeah, snow skating. Um, and he had you want me to go get that skate? Uh, you. You can if you want. You have the original, the first, the first skate. Well, I have Your the one that he skate? sold me. Okay, I yeah, have the yeah. one that he sold me. If it's All accessible, right, that'd be cool. So sorry, it's got some dust on it, but uh, it's got the little. Oh man, 
Dude, you know, it's, you, it's, 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 it's skinny as all hell. Uh, here's the trucks. It's uh, two bolts with some uh, PVC pipe or, or some like uh, nylon around them. Uh, dude, it's that uh, is a, that's a by deck right there. Yeah, it is. Uh, he said, uh, yeah, just drill the hole right here, right in the middle. And then you can use it to, to pull up as you're getting off the chairlift. <laughs> that's awesome, that's awesome. man. It, it is awesome. So it's got this, uh, I don't know. Cool graphics. Cool. Yeah. I wish I would have bought my eight more of them. That's, that's incredible. It's really cool to see, see somebody actually have one in their hand. I mean, that's, that's history right there. So then I was like, you know, um, every chance I got, I stopped by snowboard shops, uh, snowboard connection and green water outfitters and, uh, any place I saw a snow snowboard shop, I'd stop. Do you sell snow skates? Most of the time they said, nah, no, yeah. nah. And every single time they said, yes, I said, I, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> oh, hey, that's why I couldn't find one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, fast forward to 2012, I think I was on my oh, third lib tech. Okay. Um, you know, and it started off small, small, and then they got a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Um, and uh, Strapless Week came to uh, Crystal Mountain. And I, I got some YouTube videos up uh, up on my page uh, about when they came. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I just had a, a, a regular skate, and it was like, I don't know, 23, 24, 38 inches deep that day. I mean, Whoa, it, it was just blower. It was blower. Uh, and these guys are riding like the Pioneer Pow Blades and the Pioneer 49ers. And they had, uh, you know, old, these single heads on. Them. And then, uh, uh, oh, shoot, what's his name? Uh, Craig? Hughes. Uh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Paul was there. And he had this, this, I mean, dude, it was like, it seemed like it was like 14 inches wide, this ski was. Wow. He was riding that thing. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, and so uh, Craig let me borrow uh, a 49er with some uh, trial trucks. It was basically just round uh, aluminum pipe that he, he, he drilled to the thing. Uh, that and, sounds like and I rode that thing and, and it was it made such a big difference. Like I was keeping up, but I was working my ass off to, to keep up with these guys. And uh, yeah, man, the, the intro to like the the people that made their own and in, in the and not just LibTech um, really opened my mind to this is this is it, man. This is this is it. Yeah, and and so then you started you started pressing skis. Uh, well, so then uh, I, they told me about the that was uh, like in March or something, and they told me about the the big event. Um, that was down at Mount Hood in Fourth uh, of July weekend. Yeah. So we uh, we trekked down there. Uh, the open. Took, yeah. They call yeah, it yeah, the yeah. open. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I went down there and, and got to meet tons of people, tons of people. Uh, had a great time. It, it was awesome. Uh, and then uh, on the drive home, uh, I was with my buddy Matt and my like, dude. Do you want to start this? You know, I got an idea for a ski that I want that no one's making. And uh, he's like, yeah, let's, let's do it. So <laughs> started making and uh, got one of my cores right here that uh, for my subs. And uh, yeah, nice. learned, I mean, I just threw numbers into uh, like threw numbers into an auto, uh, into a computer, you know, just guessing, you know, how many millimeters do I want this? How many meters do I want the radius? Uh, yeah. Do I want concave? Do I want rocker? Do I want, you know, I just threw some numbers in and uh, we made a couple of them. And then uh, we went down to Hood in, uh, I think October, November to try them. Right. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm thinking, you know, hey, there's going to be some tweaks. Sure. There's gonna. I'm gonna have R &D. to change something. I, I just guessed on these numbers, and I uh, I throw it on the snow. I jump on it, and it it rails. 
<laughs> it wants to go straight down the fall line yeah. and it's happy doing it. And you, you turn it just a little bit, you rock it a little bit and it just, um, Whoa. I was so giddy excited that what I designed just throwing numbers out felt amazing. That's and it performed. I can't and even it wasn't imagine. Too soft and it wasn't too soft and it wasn't too stiff. And, uh, it's definitely not the ski for everyone. It's definitely not the ski for all conditions. Uh, it is, I kind of designed it as a high speed, you know, less than six inches bombing down some groom trails, just bombing. It's not yeah. really an all mountain ski. It's, but we made it, you know, 2012, we're making skis. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we made uh, eight or nine, 10 that year. Uh, so Sold a couple of them. Uh, sold one to to somebody, and they give it to uh, their boyfriend. And the boyfriend, I think, wrote it one time. And he said, "No, I don't like it. I'll never use this thing." Returned oh. it. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's you, Bonds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I think I returned that, and then uh, Shane said he wanted one. I said, "Dude, I got to sell you one that Bonds already wrote." And he's like, "Yeah, dude, that's totally cool." So uh, he had it for a while, and uh, then I think he ended up giving it to Wilson. So uh, Wilson's got a caveman original sub. In his quiver somewhere. In his quiver. I think uh, Victor Zern's got a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, we made I a custom it. one for Victor. Nice. Um, and then I sold one to somebody up at Stevens Pass. I can't remember who got it. Uh, I think Matt's got a couple. I've got three or four of them uh and i've just gotten bogged down uh with making subs because it, there wasn't like the big frenzy like hey I, I i want one of your subs yeah everyone wanted my my decks yeah your decks are sick <laughs> so this, i'm like I love the shape <laughs> and i'm like you know what there's a lot of people making top notch subs yeah. They are making top-notch subs. Um, no one's making, well, LibTech's making, um, a deck that doesn't get waterlogged. I've, I've ridden a couple other decks, other brands, and their decks get waterlogged. Like, they, it gets heavier during the day because it soaks up so much water. Huh. I don't know. That's that. That's my experience. I, you know that it makes me wonder. I've got a. I've got. I've got one uh, that I I enjoy, but you know, I wonder if it. I wonder if it's getting waterlogged, uh, because every once in a while I, I'll pick it up and be like, "Oh man, that's that's pretty heavy." I didn't remember this <laughs> thing being this heavy. I bet that's what's going on. I. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. So I've had uh, a couple couple guys that make the the subs uh, uh buy batches of them from me um that's you know cool. my my price is not uh it's not 13 dollars a deck you know it's not like a normal skateboard deck but then again it's not a normal skateboard deck it's a right. snow skate deck it's made for snow skating it's made for being in the wall in the snow it's made for getting soaked and still living yeah it's Let's see. Let's see if I can get it out here. I had to put I had to put some of this uh yeah, this yeah. thunder on here, but uh that's man, all good. This thing is like if you uh, see if you can see that just the craftsmanship, you know. I mean you can feel it. It's thick, it's not extremely heavy, but you know, it's it's a good weight. It's not super light either, you know. And that's, you know, I really. I think you got the bigger one too. The, I think you got the thirty-eight by ten. Is this is this the big the the bigger? That's model? the one that I ride. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I originally made, and I made it for me because somebody wanted to charge me a hundred bucks for a skateboard deck. I'm like, no, I got to be able to figure out how to make a skateboard deck. Uh, so then I I you know went on the interwebs and and figured out a way to do it and uh i'm still pressing with the same original uh mold 
Um, I've, cool. I've made several more since then, but uh, yeah. So I've I gotta, with, uh, I gotta yeah, ask go you. Well, I gotta ask you. So I know we talked and I ended up meeting up with you and you were in the middle of moving. Uh, do you have your shop set up yet or are you All still right. in so the process? It's still in the pro process, but Here. Okay. Not too terribly long uh from being ready to rock and roll. Right on, right on. So I have yeah. some have some ready for next season. Yes, absolutely. I've got uh I probably have I don't know about <laughs> I probably have about that many press right now, about maybe 50. So if somebody wanted press. to get their hands on one, uh, how would they get a hold of you? Okay, so I had a website, and then somehow my uh, my credit card, the, the expiration expired, oh, and man. GoDaddy said they wanted, like, a ton of money to redo it. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have a website yet, uh, but you can reach me on the Caveman Snow Skates uh, Facebook page. That's the best way uh, to, to get a hold of me right now. Cool. And then Insta Instagram as well? I don't do, I mean, I have an Instagram page, yes, but I'm not checking it regularly uh, as I should. Um, you know, my kids are all telling me, Dad, you got to get on Instagram. You know, I'm like, I'm there. I just... I've got a lot of things going on. Uh, Message me on Messenger. Use Messenger. Yeah, use Messenger. Because, you know, and if you don't have Messenger um, and you really want one of my decks, I don't, I don't know how to get you in touch with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Facebook, you got to get on Facebook. You got to get. I'm, so, I'm get sorry. On. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm behind the times. Well, now, and, and but you can you can also hit me on uh, Greg, G R E G, at snowboardingmadeeasy.com. It's all spelled all right. out. And we'll put a link in the bio, so look for look for that. All right. And uh, well, cool. So then I, you know, I was gonna say, what's the future look like for Caveman? Where where are you going? <sighs> okay, so. My new shop is 1,500 square feet, and I came from about um, six square feet. <laughs> okay, well, that's <laughs> considerable. <laughs> right, so uh, I, I, I'm looking to uh, produce somewhere. I, I want to be able to produce in like the six that 600 to 2,000 decks a year range. Wow. Um, in the next year and a half and then uh i'm gonna start working on some new designs for subs cool. and start pressing some new subs um along those lines though uh there's this uh there's this thing called a collab you've heard of collabs collab yeah, yep like so collab. collaboration yep yep so there are a couple collab skates coming out this year very limited runs really well maybe we, it, it okay. we've talked about it and uh some other people have been like yeah that sounds great um so i, I think there could be maybe 12 decks per or 12 uh skates uh from one company and uh 12 from another that we're collabing to to just get product out there that'd be you cool know, that'd be really cool special runs uh special graphic special just for this year uh collab Wow. And that and I'm, I imagine you can't say anything of, about who it is yet or uh let's keep it the cat in the bag for a minute. All right, all right. <laughs> well then now you really got to get on Facebook and you got to Yeah. You got to see what's <laughs> coming down the pike. But uh, I've uh I've started uh playing around with the carbons like you know and uh I actually just picked up an airbrush and some gold leaf and i'm gonna give some uh some low rider graphics uh uh a go and you know see how it turns out uh you know i just keep trying to push what i can do uh 
okay, I feel comfortable doing carbons now. Um, I feel comfortable doing a little bit of painting. Let's go, you know, let's just keep pushing it and pushing it. And um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to uh, to keep on making skates for until I can't anymore. That's that's awesome. You know, it, it you know, really it really is a bug, right? You get bit yeah. by the bug. I mean, this this show has been going on for a couple of years, and it's like I can't stop. I just got to keep, you know, I love talking about it, you know, and, and, uh, yeah. you know, I slow, I slow down a little bit in, uh, you know, February and March. Cause I'm, cause I'm any free time I have, I'm up on the hill. Well, this, <laughs> this know? year was, uh, last year was bad. Uh, I didn't get up very much. Um, and then this year was bad because we bought a house in yeah. October and we had to move in January and then it's like, Hey, we got to get the house and then we got to do the stuff. And then I've got my last daughter's graduating high school this year. Oof. So we've gotten a bunch of stuff going there. And um, yeah, it's, uh, but you know, then, there might be some free time on the horizon is what you're yes, saying. Yes, absolutely. Like, absolutely. It's, it's coming close. It's coming close. Yeah. Yes. I've got, I've got a, uh, I've got a five and a 15 year old. So I, as far as, all I've that goes both. i've got years <laughs> yeah i've met them both though right yeah 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 i don't know if the five-year-old was wow i guess she was probably uh, yeah yeah for sure i'm surprised she didn't want to she probably did want to get out of the van and she's, she's <laughs> curious about what's going on i know yeah. i the one thing where we were driving away and i was like oh man we should have gotten out and gotten a photo like that would have been the one thing that I would have wanted to do, just a, a like a photo of us with like the a decks. history thing. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, I, I, you're driving away and I was wishing I was giving you stickers too. Oh man. Well, you got to come down, come down to Idaho. Yeah. I know. I know you got some, I know you don't have yeah. a lot of free time, but maybe well, this next I, I do need to make a trip over there. Uh, my daughter's going to be going to school, I think in Montana. So I'll be driving okay. through Idaho. Yeah, yeah, we're we're down. Uh, I know down you're a down lower, but I know. You no, know, come, come. Uh, Maybe on the way up, to Vegas, we'll meet up with Tulek and and he'll uh, he'll he'll take you on some. It's a workout <laughs> when you get when you get. Can I him. deliver this to him. Oh, I figured that was for him when you said yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like. Yeah, sorry, man. It the move is like crushed my uh, my building here for a minute. Yeah, but it's, it, it's gonna it's gonna be amazing when this thing is set up it's gonna be I amazing bet, i bet you yeah. know i met up with him uh one of the spring spring days we met up and and i showed him what i had and he's like i'm waiting for mine <laughs> <You know? laughs> like he's he's anxious i know i know i know uh there's there's seven or eight that are on hold right now that i'm I'm close, guys. I'm close. Nice, nice. <laughs> and and hey, uh, by the time people people are viewing this, you know, hit him up. He's got he's gonna have skates. Yes. Um, so uh what about events this this uh this season? Did you make it out to any? Did you I made it to the Hurricane Ridge? Okay. I did. Uh, um it was awesome. It was it was great. Um I wanted to make it out to uh, Idaho. I wanted to make it to Serpentine, but I've got uh, I've got a schedule of uh, being on call that's just brutal right now. Uh, yeah, we're but... we're men down, and and we're just we're scrambling to to get shifts covered. And and uh, I think we we discussed that you actually uh, I don't know how much you actually want to talk about what you do for for a living, but uh, I think we were stationed at at one point at the same hotel down there in seattle at the are you, do you actually have an office in a in a building or are you kind of all over I the have, place yeah or? i've got an office um it's in the western hotel okay yeah that's seattle. what i thought that's what i yeah. thought yeah 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 uh, so and actually uh the the potus just showed up there and uh spent some time and i was uh the on-call guy uh with, if he got in the elevator i had to be on site to really? make sure nothing happened yeah it was uh i got to play around with the secret service guys and uh yeah that was pretty cool 
Yeah, I yeah. when I worked there, uh, so I was in AV and I was stationed there uh, for a, for a long time. And yeah, man, when when uh, presidents or or uh, yeah, the president of China came in, and it's like lockdown city. You know what I mean? Like they. Well, it was it was impressive on what happened. It yeah, was impressive. It's... Yeah, they blocked down a few blocks. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's why they picked that hotel because they they can set up a perimeter really yeah. easily. So yeah. anyway, and, I, and it, I don't know what other people's views are, but it's a it's a union shop. Uh, it's all the workers in that hotel are union and it's a democratic president. So they always stay at a union uh, hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Except for, you know, the funny thing is, and I, mm. the company I worked for wasn't union. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Is there a union shop that is there a union AV place? That, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm sure they went with the, with the local, yeah. uh, local 15 yeah. there. So, yeah. Um, all right. But, uh, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. That's all. That's all in the past. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. A good. It's a good thing the elevator didn't break down. Oh, yeah, it was perfect. Uh, everyone had a big sigh of relief uh, every time he got off of it. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, like, with, with clean shorts. <laughs> yes, yes, it was, uh, <laughs> it was nice. What did you used to do with your sander? <laughs> well, this sander, this huge-ass uh, edge sander, I used to just reel it out into uh, the driveway and just make the the mummy sandstorm with all the dust. And then uh, when I was done, just wheel it back in the house. But now I'm, I'm my shop is actually in my house. So I have to add dust collection because I can't live in a dusty house. So your foam, like, I, I love it. It's, it's different than what I've been using. And I, can you tell me a little bit about the foam and, uh, okay, so back when I was at uh, the U.S. Open at 2012, um, I made a little short video of uh, Adrian and John Rasmussen and uh, Adam Cooper barefooting down from the from the last run. Okay, and I think Cooper had some like thick green foam on his deck. Okay, and it looked so nice, and uh, so I was like. I've, I've ridden like the eighth inch stuff and I've ridden the quarter inch stuff and it, and it just tears off in certain conditions, you know, yeah. uh, or, or it ices up real bad. So I was talking and I needed some closed cell foam and because that keeps the moisture out of it. And uh, so I found some and I was like, I'm going to try the half inch stuff. And I tried it and I was like, I am, I love it. Not everyone does, you know, people that like to ride uh, park probably don't want to ride it but for all mountain riding i love it for just cruising i love it um i do have some uh some other stuff uh some thinner stuff that uh i put on some decks but yeah i just it's it's half inch foam and it i love it and when you get you wear you wear in and i i find that i'm like kind of you're mobbing down like some some chunky stuff you just know your feet are like, bam, in it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you literally kind of dig yourself these little pits yeah. <laughs> in the, in the, and it's like, oh yeah, that's where my foot goes. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. I'm in it. Yep. Um, well, right on, man. Hey, thanks for coming on Aqua Brand and chatting with me. I sure enjoy it. Thanks for, uh, for having me. Thanks for joining us on this installment of Aqua Brain Chats. Check us out at Brain Aqua. This is how you subscribe to Snowboarding Made Easy. This is how you subscribe to us. And this is a video we think you'll like. See you next time.